Alright guys, it is Onyx and welcome to episode 2 of uh, uh, hit, uh, uh, of Hidden Beast. <laughs> Go and freaking get it out then. Today you can see we have a full silver team, it is obviously a BPL team. First and foremost, let's reveal who's in that team. Bang. Pantilamon, Accor, Corker, Rose, Loton, Medel, Delfonso, Tete, Tonev and Townsend make up 10. Who's the last striker? Who's the Hidden Beast? Let's show you the hidden beast. It is Bam. Sonia Luco. 89 pace, 70 shots, 67 passing, and 80 dribbling. What a striker. In a second, I think I'll be showing you some of the stats. Here we are, showing you the stats. 47 goals and 33 assists in 54 games. Those stats are absolutely incredible for a silver striker. Wow. So the reason this is post commentary is because uh, I actually didn't turn my mic on when I recorded. Well, I did, but my computer picked it up rather than my actual headset, so it was such bad quality, I just didn't want to ha make you guys listen to that. This is the team we came up against first. It was very pace orientated, and first seven minutes, he had a f that, that free kick was actually really good. I'm not going to say anything about that. He was sweaty as hell, and I found it so hard to play against him, but that was a quality free kick, and I can't take that away from him. Um, again, he just was another player that sprinted around to the corner, and I just couldn't handle it. He had a, You can see his team compared to mine. It was a full silver. I felt I was at a disadvantage, to be honest. I was that annoyed because I felt I couldn't show you guys Sonny's full potential because I was always on the back foot. I was always defending. The first half, I had nothing to show for other than this one opportunity that I absolutely screwed up. I thought his keyboard would come out a lot quicker, and I just chipped. I don't know why. Panic, you know. And then a bit of AIDS there. Jovetic could just sprint as if my defence went there. That really annoyed me. He just sprinted in directions and slotted it in. 3 0 by half time. What the hell? I don't even know. I just. Oh, I fell to pieces. Then a bit more raids. Pantilmon comes out uh, to punch the ball out and he gets nowhere near. I don't know why he didn't just catch it. It's a 6 for 8 keeper. It fell to Gerard. Gerard ain't going to miss from there, even if it is a header. It's 4 0. I've got no chance of showing Sonny's potential. Uh, Tonev and Aluko uh, really linked up well here and um, Tonev wow now Tonev is a beast but he isn't hidden so I can't really do it on him nice married on a roll Townsend couldn't get to it but then Tete lovely little fake shot there sells David Luiz and again another beast but isn't hidden can't show him in the series really well I could but a lot of people know about him and he is a brilliant player so that's why I've gone for Sonny more because he isn't as good again another one of his goals here David Lewis just sprinting through the field Rose couldn't get him, Akura couldn't get him, Loton had no chance one on one what a tackle by the way but again a bit more aids it just fell to Shirley who could tap it into an open net dying minutes really 85th minute Townsend just skips around David Luiz and slots it in it was a lovely uh, lovely clinical finish to be honest Townsend and uh, Tete this game was really all about them to be honest and that's partially the reason that I couldn't show anything to do with Sonny um here I remember recording this and saying I'd rather have scored that goal than won because the guy was so sweaty and trying to like he, he'd get the ball and he'd just stand there and then move I'd love that goal every second of it uh, and to be honest, it was these last minutes that I found this guy wasn't actually that good and I found my uh, way with this team, to be honest. Townsend and Tete both doubling up goals, brilliant goals, to be honest, but that was the end of that game. So, in order to show Sonny's full potential, I thought I'll show you a team that I'd normally use in him. Uh, now, you can tell it's a lot different, different formation, gone for the 4-5-1. Uh, I normally do play two cameras behind him because it acts like three up front. And we came up against this team, it was a full league of BBBA team with Bale and Neymar up front, Di Maria in left mid and Sanchez in right mid, Iniesta as well, that's 8-9, and it was the most boringest game I've ever played. It was just a slip through ball to Neymar to take him 1-0 up, again, finding myself on the back foot already and having to defend, which I probably I'll be able to show you some really good defending when we get on to centre-backs, right-backs, left-backs. Uh, but this lovely little piece, I did feel like I dominated this to be honest, Young linking up with Gibbs down the left, Gibbs then playing through storage, storage giving it right back to Young, and Young able to put in a cross for Sonny to power through Marseille and score, and that is why Sonny is a hidden beast. If you play the right games with him, you can you play him in the right team, you can use him to his full potential. 
So after that second game, which we had a bit more success in, I thought I'd show you the stats. He was the third best player in the game, scored one goal, had three out of his four passes completed, uh, shots completed. And, well, to be honest, I didn't read them, but you could see them. And, honestly, mate, he didn't shine too well in those two games, but just looking at, looking at his stats, 48 goals, 33 assists in 56 games, just phenomenal. So this is what the Druden team looks like at the moment, just out the door, all alone. To be honest, he does need a strike partner. Sonny is going to be the man, so we're going to put him in any second now. Um, maybe Sonny didn't show how good he was there, but when we've got this team built fully, I think he will. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in to episode 3 out tomorrow. Uh, hope to see some likes, comments. Thanks a lot. Peace.